How's it going, everybody? Uh, back yet again with some more drafts. Uh, this time, it's going to be more than likely our last two Adventures in Forgotten Realms drafts. I'm going to do a player draft and a bot draft. I'm going to start with a bot draft because why not? Uh, you can see here, you know, we have the midweek, historic artisan, whatever. Historic's been ruined, in my opinion. Uh, Jumpstart Historic Horizons is the reason why Historic's been ruined, in my opinion, amongst a few other things. Uh, Tinker's cu Cube Draft is kind of fun, but I personally, I do not like Phantom Events ever, and I haven't ever, even when it was just MTGO. Like, I never liked Phantom Events. Um, I see its place, though. It's an interesting breakup. Uh... You know, Tinker, traditional Tinkers, Cube Draft. We have Premier, Forgotten Realms, and Quick, Forgotten Realms Draft. So we're going to Quick Draft it right now because we have enough gold left. The other two accounts, I haven't been grinding as much because I've been busy with some wrestling things. I had the pleasure of recording the Haliotsko Memorial Cup for 2021, and I'm currently working on that. Uh, which is why I preloaded the last five or six videos because I kind of knew I was going to be busy working on that. That being said, this will be our last, that I can see, Forgotten Realms quick draft. And then the next draft video will be the last Forgotten Realms premiere draft. So, we got Westgate Regent. It's 4-4 four, four flying, ward, discard a card. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one, plus one counters on it. Kind of good. Kind of. Hmm. We'll see what we can hopefully get around the wheel, which would be price of loyalty. Maybe bar win as well. But I really think the Westgate Regent is the pick here for us. Now we have Moonbase Cleric, Black Dragon... Moonbase Cleric helps if you're in an enchantment deck. Uh, Black Dragon, however, is a good one of, in my opinion. It's got some spice, but we got Air Colt Elemental, which is great. Villain's Lair, which is great. Deadly Dispute, which is probably better pick than the Dragon. But right now, I think we can at least come across a couple more Deadly Disputes as opposed to more Dragons. We have Death Priest of Mirkul. Skeletons, Vampires, Zombies you control get plus one, plus one. Beginning of your end step, if a creature died, pay one, create a one, one black. I think this just confirmed where we're going. This is the pick, obviously. Barb class, we're not rolling dice, so it's not that good. Got my coffee here. We got Windseer, which I personally like. I like Windseer in this format. Plundering Barbarian's great. Armory Veteran is great if you're in the uh, Equipment class. Another Unexpected Windfall, which will probably wheel to us. But Death Priest of Merkul is definitely the pick here. And so far, we're a mono black. <laughs> uh, Hexblade might be the pick. Thieves Tools. But we have Precipitous Drop. Which is good removal. Keen Eyed Sentry. Not bad in this format. Uh, but right now, I think P Drop is what I'm going to go for. We have Dragon's Disciple. Priest of Ancient Lore, which is a really good card in the in common slot. Uh, Derider is okay. Um, but I think it's a toss-up between the Dragon Disciple and the Forgotten Lore. Dragon Disciple, because we have Black Dragon. Or Priest for the card draw and the gain life. I think we're going to go Dragon Disciple, though. This could be a mistake, and, you know, if you catch it on the post-Carnage report, I'll probably tell you why that was a big mistake. But right now, uh, Delver's Torch... Is not that bad of an equipment. But we're not doing the dungeoning thing at the moment. 
Uh, Guild Thief is solid, and I might just take that on spec. Chatter, Clattering Skeletons isn't that good. Zombie Ogre is pretty good if, if we're venturing the dungeon. If we're doing dungeon shenanigans, it's going to be Zombie Ogre. But I might just want to pick up this Guild Thief just in case we're in Demir. So we'll just put that to the side. Hammer Pasher, Rune Seeker. Horde Robber, though. We gets to us this late. Um, Horde Robber is good. Especially with what we might need to do. Now, that being said, this is probably a case for Evolving Wild for fixing. Plus two mace. Eh. Paladin Shield. Eh. Air Colt Elemental is a really good pick here. Eyes of the Beholder, I kind of don't like. So it's a toss-up between Evolving or Air Cult. I think I'm going to take the Air Cult. And then we're going to move the Guild Thief up. This was the pack that we opened. Nothing came back that I was hoping would come back. Dawnbringer, I'm low on. Paladin Shield, obviously I'm low on. Cursed Idol. Sylvan Shepherd and Cursed Idol should not be making it making its way back to us. Uh, I think Guard Approach, though. Look at that. Um, this time I'm going to take the Villain's Lair. Uh, Hired Hexblade. Or Mordecai's Polymorph. Alright, I think I can get rid of the Dragon Disciple. Because I think we're solid Demir at the moment. And that was the only white card that we took. Let's see. I think I might just take the Hexblade. No, I don't want to complete the set with the Hexblade. I mean, yeah, let's get the Hexblade. Uh, Thieves Tools came back to us. Holy crap. Devour Intellect... Or Leather Armor. I think it's Devour Intellect. And then Shortcut Seeker. So now we have Lair of the Hydra, which we could take for gems. But I don't think I want to do that yet. We're out of white. So we got a couple good picks that we could take. The Rider, Horde Robber, Thieves Tools. I think we take second Horde Rider Robber over Thieves Tools because the Thieves Tools managed to make its way back to us. The Rider didn't make its way back to us, though. But I think we're kind of solid on the four and five drops here. And I think we could use all the help that we can get in the two drop slot, especially with Guild Thief. I know Thieves Tools should have been the pick, but I'm banking on something here. Old Gnollbone... Demi Gordon's clutches. Shambling Ghast. Here's something on the watch is good. Mind Sorcerer. I think it's Ghast. Ghast is really good. Can help us with the fire. Um, we don't need another Horde Robber. Power Word Kill, however, comes to us. We're gas number two. So far in the removal, we have P-Drop. So I think we're going to have to take the Power Word Kill. A pretty bad pack for us, except for Contact, the other plane. Manticore hmm, might wheel back to us, but if you're, in, if you're one of the bots in green... Red, you, you got a hell of a pack here. But I think we're going to take Contact the Other Plane. Scion of Stygia. I like. Um, we could make a case for Hammer Pashar. If we're in... Dungeons, but we weren't. But we're not. This pack, Guard Approach, Secret Door, Windseer, Contact, Other Plane. I'm going to take a Windseer because we're really low on 4 drops as well. And that's a pretty good 4 drop 
we're going to actually take a deadly dispute this time. I didn't even need to see the rest of the pack. It was deadly dispute all the way. Um, second elemental. I don't really like playing more than one air cult, but, you know, let's keep it to the colors. This is an empty pick here. Nothing's going to make the deck, so let's at least, you know, get something that we don't have complete. <laughs> Alright, normally it'd be 50 feet of rope, but Wilds came back. And our second Villain's Lair will happen upon a Glade to try to complete that set. I don't know why green is this wide open. Mordecai's Polymorph will take. You see a Guard Approach. I'll take a second. I'll I'll take a second C. <laughs> All right, we have one of the linchpins with a uh, Kyrie, Curter of Baldur's Gate. Could make an argument for Ray of Frost. Um, Soul Knife Spy. Um, this is a good pack for us. I'm hoping either Vampire Spawn. Or, I'm either hoping that gets wheeled back to us. Ray of Frost would be great. I doubt it. Uh, Vampire Spawn, Yi Tang, or Soul Knife Spy. But the pick is Kyrie or Kirtle. Um, Clever Conjurer, Thieves Tools. I think we take the Thieves Tools this time because we have Horde Robbers and a Guild Thief. So we can do that. Uh, Specky Ghoul or Spawn? Specky Ghoul's good if we're doing like the red black, but I don't think we are. So I think Spawn might be the pick. This will probably be another time where I go in the post Carnage report. I should have took Ghoul. Uh, let's see, actually. Let's see. We only have the Ghast, which works. We have tons of two drops at this moment. We're kind of weak on three, so I think Vampire spawn. We have a Power Word Kill, a Fane Death, Herald of Haldar, Power Word Kill, though, is such a limited-ish card because it can only destroy non-angel, demon, devil, dragon creatures. That being said, we are kind of low, but we have no real way. Um, I'm a fan of Fain Death. And we don't have one yet, but we have the guard approaches, which gives us hexproof until end of turn. So I think we're going to take power ward kill because we are really weak sauce on removal. Um, Conjurer does some cool things. But I think we're going to take a herald. Actually... We have four, five and ups. Do I want to take another hired Hexblade? I think we'll take another hired Hexblade. Check for Tramps, Manta Core, Pixie Guide, Shocking Grasp. Manticore, because we're really bad on removal. Now we can take that Herald. Now we can take the Herald. Um, Bayful Beholder. I doubt Bayful makes the cut. So I'm just going to take 50 feet of rope and complete that. Ray of Frost came back. None of the other black cards came back, mind you. Uh, 
So I think Ray of Frost makes the cut. Um, bar the gate. Nah, let's complete Devoted Paladin stuffs. Um, we'll take a Clever Conjurer. We'll complete... We'll try to complete our Gloom Stalkers. We'll get a Gretchen. And we'll get that cut check for traps. So far, not a bad draft. We got nine cuts to make. We'll cut five creatures. We'll go in our... Oh, damn it. I hate when that happens. Alright, creatures that shouldn't make the cut. Um, Death Priest, Skellies, Vamps, Zombies. So, we got two vampires, no skeletons, one zombie. <laughs> Oops. Um, that's okay, though. Um, such a mana sink, though. Alright, I think Haldar doesn't make it. Probably get rid of one of the hex blades. Gonna get rid of the conjurer. Yeah, I know. Shocking. Uh, I don't like check for traps, deadly dispute, power word kill, P drop, contact the other plane. I think... I think we get rid of those two, because we don't have really anything that we want to protect. Like if, you know, Xanthar, protect that. Actually, maybe let's just, no, not right now. What is, our mana is probably like 3-ish. Yeah, 3.2, so we definitely need the 17. Um, so... That's removal, those are removal, the Ray of Frost is removal, our Black Dragon is removal. So we have five pieces of removal. If we count Black Dragon as well. And Scion, that's a temp remove though. So I'll get rid of one of the Power Word kills. Probably a creature, two creatures. Yeah, two creatures is going to be it. Um... One of the air cults. Vampire spawn doesn't give us a lot of three drops, but four three drops, let's just go into four and then we can play a two drop because we have plenty of those. That should decrease ours to three now? No, 3.1. Um, poop. Uh... Part of me wants to get rid of the gas, but it can make a treasure, which can help us out. I think spell-wise, we're good. I just need to get rid of one more creature. Horde Robber's too good for what we want to do. So it's either Shortcut or Windseer. Shortcut Seeker, it's power two or less, and we can always put a Thieves' Tools on it. So we can get dungeon shenanigans, but along with Horde Robber and Guild Thief, we can do that as well. Hired Hexblade. We draw a card, lose a life. But we have Deadly Disputes. Thieves Tools. I think we're going to get rid of the Hexblade. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the Hexblade. Let's get our sleeves up. Okay, that was weird. What do we, uh... Yeah, we'll do the Ashiok sleeves. 
And we'll see where this goes from here, folks. So yeah, this will be the uh, last sets of uh, drafts in AFR during the AFR release. Um, we are definitely preparing for Midnight Hunt in Estrad. All right, we got turn two Guild Thief. So we're gonna keep that. I mean, we shouldn't, but turn two Guild Thief, and then if we get a, we got three turns to get a swamp to power up our villain's lair, power word kill, Manticore. So I'm comfortable taking the slow approach here. They got a ghast. We got a thief. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if they want to do the trade and get a treasure. They did. So that either tells me they're mana hungry or mana hurting. got a Windseer, which is... Please don't be a dragon. Yeah, it's not a dragon, so that's fine. Power word kill. Let me get a swamp. Give me a swamp. Come on. You know you want to... Son of a bitch. All right. Ugh. We're going to have to do this. Draw two, then discard two. Oh, are you kidding me? I have eight swamps in this right? Oh yeah, we're done. What? Come on, man. Rigged game, completely rigged. Completely rigged. If I don't get a swamp here, well then, there's no real point. Kidding me? Look at this. 14 cards in. And I get a... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's cute. That's real cute. That's so cute. Cute wizards. Real cute. Real cute wizards. Real cute. The only... The only good thing is... We're already early in the loser's bracket. And I tend to do a little bit better when I start off the first game 0-1. That being said... This could be another fail on our end. Last fail was Simic. But I don't think I don't think it's a bad deck. Not in the least. It's Demir, so it's kind of like How do I say? It's kind of like, uh... Demir's not sought after. But here we go. Horde robber, yeah, yeah. Why don't we go first? But we get to drop a, a swamp this time. How amazing. You expected to meet hostile drow in this ancient ruin. But they fled long ago. What darkness could have driven them out? 
It was Horde Robber. <laughs> Ooh, they mold. All right. And we can pee drop whatever they bring in. Yes, P dropping it. This is what we wanted to do with the deck in the first game. We're going to venture. We don't do much venturing. Um, we have Shortcut Seeker, though. So I think we're going to do the Scry one. Oh, yeah. We're keeping that on top. Then we're going to attack, get our treasure... Play Shortcut Seeker and a land. Please, if it's a red creature... Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, I was hoping for a red creature. Um, I think we can just win Seer to get the uh, Scry something. Uh, yeah, I'll take another Horde Robber. Let's see if they let us in. Alright, I had one mana up, so that was kind of ballsy. I could have been doing something. Alright, cool. Targnar. We're going to tap Targnar. We're going to play a Horde Robber. And we're going to attack. And if this word robber dies, it doesn't. Three color for Albert. I respect that. Gotta kill the shepherd, though, soon. Gotta kill this shepherd. Uh, I don't want to give him any blocks. Alright. So let's contact other plane. Scry three, draw three. Uh, Westgate Regent, Deadly Dispute. Let's put that on the bottom. Let's play... Let's cancel that for now. They're gonna... Alright, I can see that. Oh, I should have Deadly Disputed! That's the whole reason why I did that. Misplay. Total, total misplay on my end. I had the dispute up and all. Yeah, you, you can get your removal. Because you're a luck sack. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna... Wizards has it out for me today, I guess. I guess they have it out for me. Like, seriously. This dude gets perfect. Jun lands. Rolls a d20. I get stuck with another land. Well, I can do that. Do Shortcut Seeker to at least get a body up so I can get Deadly Dispute in case they do something. But right now, we are far behind, and that's why we kept the Dispute up. Which basically makes that whiff. Just... Negative three, negative three. All right. Let's see what happens. I'll gladly trade Albear. That's sus. 
but we gotta. What? No trick? Alright. All right. We can kill Shepard with the Westgate Regent, but they have to discard a card. And then that means we can not use Keitel. We can just attack with Regent. It only took me 30 minutes to start swearing like a sailor, but what happens when bullshit like that happens? Simple. Wizards. What do you expect from the cheapest company in the planet that makes one of the best games ever that they just continuously kill over and over again? I'm gonna go 0 and 3 this time. I don't think it I, I I think the deck is fine. I just think Wizards has had it out for me. See if they take the trade with the guild thief. thinking about it. They didn't. Alright. I was kind of hoping they would. Dungeon map. Cool. That means they're not attacking with the guild thief. Alright. Now I think we're rocking and rolling, rolling and rocking. I'm going to take this turn to get us a swamp. Then I'm going to play thieves tools. We're going to create a treasure and then we're going to swing in. I don't think they want... I think if they block, they're going to block Horde Robber. Or they're not. <laughs> That's okay, though. We have Villain's Lair as backup. Yeah, there's no point in that. Venture into the dungeon. Alright, they're dungeoning things. They're going to scry one. Now we're going to have Deadly Dispute up. But we're going to hold on the Villain's Lair. I think we're going to counter that. We might... Oh, yeah. We can deadly dispute an artifact. But I want to block with the ghast. The guild thief. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, attack with the guild thief. Attack with the guild thief. Attack. Alright, they're not going to attack with the guild thief. So we're going to sacrifice our ghast. We're going to give negative one, negative one to the ranger. We're going to draw two cards and make a treasure, and we're going to pee drop. It's 
So attach that. We're gonna land. I think we pee drop the guild thief just to slow that down. Scry one, lose one. I think, yeah, I think we need to scry one. Scion of Stygia. Ericult, send back the horde robber. Hell yeah. Man, I'm not hitting any of these f***ing rolls today, man. Look at this. I got six f***ing treasures, seven lands. I'm not picking up anything. F*** A, man. Bear. All right, I'm not opposed. All right, you got a pump. Cyanostigia wants to get rid of that. Oh my god! You have it. Seriously. This is the worst b that I've encountered when it comes to getting overtly O3 by wizards. Like all of these were forced losses. Forced L's. Apparently, I flipped three really bad coins this draft. And you can say that, you know, I went to Mirror in Adventures of Forgotten Realms and I made some not good picks. But the problem is, I need to get to my top end. And I can't do that. I got one out here, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to get... We're just going to get our ninth land. Nine lands. I love it. Nine lands out of the 17 that we play. So a little under half of our lands before half of the deck. Not even... Stick around for the post-carnage report because this was three straight forced losses. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast. Like, seriously, I'll tell... Uh, uh, Westgate Regent made one appearance. Black Dragon made one appearance. Alright, so the post-carnage report for this deck. This was really bad. Uh, forget everything I say during the draft. This deck was absolute garbage. It was a pile of crap. And I'm going to show you the theoretical deck that we could have had, which would have been amazing. So going over the draft, pack one, pick two. I should have picked the Deadly Dispute um, to set up for future combos. Uh, especially if we went the price of... 
Curse of Loyalty route, the red, black, sack deck. Um, pack one, pick five. I could have either chosen Priest of Ancient War or the Derider. Should have been the Derider because we would have had two of them, and I know it's not a good card, but it's such a creature. It's a creature that you need to get rid of because it can do really dumb things really fast. Uh, pack one, pick six. Um, I could have taken the Windfall here, but I should have taken either the Zombie Ogre, which would have been the, probably the correct call, or the Skeletons, because we already had Miracle, and by this point, I knew, while looking back at the footage, I lost the plot already. So I've already forgotten everything, the first four kind of awesome picks that we got, and I kind of just ruined it by that one. That was the fourth pick. Yeah, pick six, yeah. First four picks, awesome. Every pick after that, garbage. Pack one, pick eight. I don't know why I passed a Wheeling Evolving Wilds almost. Um, that was the last card in an unseen pack, and Evolving Wilds made it back to us. Having one is good. Having two, probably better, especially with the token treasures that we could be theoretically doing. I'll show that at the end. But we could have lightly splashed into green as well, and I'll show you why. Uh, pack one, pick ten. Unexpected Windfall as opposed to the Villain's Lair here. Uh, and I put in my notes, this dra draft, by this point in pack 1, pick 10, I already screwed it up. It took me 4 or 5 picks after the first 4 great picks to completely butcher this draft. And basically make it unsalvageable, as you saw. Uh, pack 2, pick 3. Why did I pass up Hobgoblin Captain? It, uh, my brain had thoroughly checked out by this point. Um, pack two, pick four, uh, Bugbear or Plunder Barb or Cell Sword. Even in my notes while editing it, I just break. I'm upset now, as I should be. I butchered this draft really bad. Um, pack two, pick five, Price of Loyalty. The blue, red, black, red deck would have been sick at this point. And unfortunately, my dumbass wasn't looking at the signs that were being given to me. I should have already been in black red by this point. I should have already been in black red by the halfway point of pack one, yet here I am in pack two, almost halfway through the first set round of picks, and I'm still I'm getting past the price of loyalty. Uh, pack two, pick twelve. By this point, I noted three cursed idols had been wheeled to us. Oh no, three cursed idols have we've seen already, and in the future will be wheeled to us. I could have taken at least one or two, especially if we take two evolving ones. Pack three, pick two. Eccentric Apprentice might have been the better pick here, as opposed to what I took. It might have done a little bit more oddball things, and I think with this deck being so bad, we needed some real oddball things just to at least have an enjoyable playing experience. In pack three, pick three, uh, if we went red-black, we would have had a third price by this point, had we. Now, in the theoretical, we don't, but we could have had three at least by this point. Pack three, pick four, um, why, I, why did I take the second power word kill? Uh, red-black would have been just straight gas by this point. Instead, I'm, I'm taking a second power word kill because I don't know why. Pack three, pick five, Faraday's Fireball. Um, God, this black red deck would have been great. It would have been gas. It would have been a god tier black red deck almost, except without the uh, one of the linchpins to the deck. But you know, at this point, we almost have every other piece. Uh, pack three, pick something, or uh, either with the Faraday's Fireball, or or we could have taken Hobgoblin Cap, Hobgoblin number two. At this point, pack three, pick something. Armory Vet, we could have had two or three by this point. In the theoretical, we take three. Pack three, pick nine. Crap, we could have had three or four Sylvan Shepherds at this point as well. And, it, you know, had we not seen that sign and pivoted the Black Green, we, we could have had a couple Sylvan Shepherds along with a couple Cursed Idols. I've said it before. You see a Cursed Idol is one of my favorite cards in this format. So in this draft, we went exactly 0-3. Uh, we had one 
early concede. I consider an early concede when we have more than 10 life and probably another turn or two left. But by that point in the by that point in the game, we've already lost. That's what I consider an early concede. Not the two other games that we obviously we're going to lose the second we pass a turn back to our opponent. Um, the theoretical deck that we could have had is going to be behind me. I'll blend it in. But, you know, we could have had the first four picks, which was P-Drop, Westgate, Black Dragon. You know, we could have taken the Rider. We could have had a Zomb uh, Merkel, uh, Death Priest Merkel. Uh, we could have had Zombie Ogre, the two Horrorlings, two Evolving Wilds, a Fate Reversal, two Windfalls, three Army Vets, two Thieves Tools, an Improvised Weapon Tree, a Hobgoblin Captain, a Hulking Bugbear, two Prices of Loyalty, an Earth Cult Elemental, um, Deadly Dispute, two Goblin Javaliers, uh, a Plundering Barb, and a Faraday's Fireball. That theoretical, and it's going to be in front of me now, that theoretical pool that we would have had would have been much better to at least get a better, to, to at least get a, a, a amazing deck together, as opposed to the, the mere garbage that I chose. And Demir, yes, I know it's one of the worst archetypes in this draft. You need a couple cards to make it work, and I think I was just trying to force it because oftentimes it's one of the few archetypes abandoned early on, and I just got caught up in that and didn't even draft a good Demir deck either. Um, so we went 0-3 <laughs> this time with one early concede. Um, so yeah, the last bot draft that we do for AFR was a complete fail. Uh, <laughs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer. My name's Dahmer, also known as Dom Douglas, and may your top deck always be mythic.